welcome. Today I want to discuss using the Subsurface Profile Shading method to obtain more natural looking results for your metahuman skin. For frame of reference, this is what we're talking about today, subsurface scattering, where light travels through some areas like the ear or the, ha or the fingers on the hand here and scatters across the skin in other places. You may have seen this as a child shining a torch through your hand, for example. On the Unreal Engine docks, we have this page, Subsurface Profile Shading Model, and it gives an example of um, not using the subsurface profile and then using it. You get a more natural looking result, sometimes slightly uh, smoother as well, but we'll get to that. And what is a subsurface profile? For the, those of you who don't know, the subsurface scattering profile data is an asset that can be created, shared and saved in the content browser. The data is intended to be authored by artists and controls the distance the light in the subsurface should scatter. The colour of the subsurface, the fall off colour of the light once it has exited the object, the data can then be applied to a subsurface material. Subsurface profile data can also be tweaked interactively, meaning that you do not need to recompile the material to see the results of the edits. With metahumans, they already come with a subsurface profile with their material. Let's see that now. Here I have a scene with a metahuman and a point light which is placed slightly behind the character. If I search for transmission and I enable it, we get the subsurface effect on our metahuman. The light shines through the ear if we get close enough. Probably a little too much, but for an example, it does show you what is happening. This works because metahumans use a subsurface profile shading model. Let's go a little deeper into that now. Let's open up our metahuman blueprint. And I'm going to select the face and I want to find the head material. Here it is. Here's the material instance for the head. There is a crazy amount of adjustments in here, which I really like. What we're going to search for, though, is scattering. And here it is, skin scattering. Make sure skin scattering is set to one. Now we need to scroll almost all the way down to the bottom. Until we find material property overrides. And we're looking for this subsurface profile. Make sure it's enabled. And I'm going to click on the folder icon. And um, what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of this so I don't ruin the original. I suggest you do the same. And I'm going to name this. Add Bernice to it. That's the name of my metahuman character. And then I'm going to select this icon here to make it the subsurface profile. Then I'm going to save and more importantly, I'm going to go back and I'm going to compile my metahuman blueprint. This will apply that subsurface profile to your character. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up my subsurface profile. I will place it side by side with my metahuman so I can see what is happening. And there are various values in here and adjustments. Some of these you will use, others you won't. For example, I probably wouldn't touch the world scale settings. Okay, so let, let's adjust some of these values to uh, obtain different results. If I start here with the mean free path color, I've made it slightly pink. 
If you look at the viewport as I'm doing this, you can see what is happening around the boundaries and with the transmission and the scattering itself. I'm going to go to this boundary bleed color and I, I want it to be very similar to what I've already chosen above. If we take a look, you, you can see what it is doing. There we go. And then I'm going to probably make these a very similar color. Maybe I'll make this one pink. Yeah, like that. For now, that'll do. And then if we come down here to transmission, so these various values, I rarely touch any of these. These extinction scale, for example, I, I wouldn't touch that. Let's reset that to its default. Um, the scattering distribution, I may use this if we look as we increase. It kind of becomes sharper and lower values tends to distribute it in a way that makes it look smoother. Again, it, depending on what you're doing, I, I really wouldn't touch this value. IOR. Again, a value I wouldn't touch. I'd probably leave this at the default. Um, transmission tint, I would use this, uh, as we can see, it tints the transmission color. Uh, maybe a red color in this instance. Um, as you can see, it has a pretty profound effect. I'll leave it about there. That seems to be okay. Load mix. Now, in order to show you load mix, I want to switch on the rest of my lights in the scene. You can already see with my MetaHuman that the character looks much softer. So the load mix, it kind of adds um, a, a roughness. So sweat, basically, you could achieve or, or a wet look. And so... I just want a gentle amount of this, but as you can see, it kind of adds that reflection in the skin. Next one I want to adjust is mean path distance. I would strongly suggest being very, very careful with this for skin. And because as you can see, when you crank it up, it really does make a difference. So let's turn off my lights and just go back to the point light and as you can see it's adjusting the distance this subsurface effect seems to be traveling i'm going to be very precise here i, I think that's too much too if you look if you go too far with this, you get like a, a candle effect. Now, if you are doing a candle or a wax work style effect, that would be fantastic. But I don't want that for this MetaHuman. I just want to soften it gently. So maybe 0.18. And I'm going to adjust some of the colors again. I kind of want a more orangey red color rather than a pink. Hmm maybe yeah that that seems about right and then again the boundary bleed color i will probably just copy the mean free path color and alter this surface albedo slightly there we go Again, there's no size this is. It's an art, I would suggest. And I'm re 
reasonably happy with that. So now if we turn back on the main lights and as we can see, it, it does have a profound effect. If we adjust again the mean free path distance, I want to soften the shadows around the nose. So maybe 0.22. And as you can see, it's softened those shadows there. And I'm reasonably happy with this result. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.